Hello and welcome to the life of Paul, a brand new motor vlogging channel here on YouTube. This is my first ever video on the channel uh, to do with motor vlogging. I've had quite a journey getting all of my equipment to where I want it to be and it's still not quite there. So as you'll see in this one video, I only have the one camera and that's the one mounted to my helmet. Hopefully you can hear me right, this is sort of a journey for a test. So I can test out the mic quality, I can test out how everything sounds. But I do have another camera coming tomorrow. But like I said, the journey to get to this point has been something else. So around about a month ago, I decided I wanted to do this, this motor vlogging thing. I love being on my bike. The weather, I mean, it doesn't look like it now, is starting to get nicer. And I want to be on the bike a lot. So I thought, why not record my journey? So that's what I plan on doing. However, I've had nothing but problems getting to this point. So essentially I bought, I bought two GoPro Hero 10 Blacks because they were recommended in a video I watched. I got them, I put them on my bike, one on my helmet, didn't like the angles. So I ordered a chin mount from chinmounts.com, a company in Canada, uh, to get a better angle specifically for this helmet because this is a weird shaped helmet and all the mounts I got off Amazon didn't really fit very nice. And anyway, after all of that, I really, really wasn't happy with the video quality. So I've done some more research back to the drawing board, all that, and I found the DJI Osmo Action 4, which I think is going to be like the new gold standard in motor vlogging. Uh, and paired that, oh, go through that, paired that with a DJI mic 2 and hopefully this is what you get if the angle is not to your satisfaction let me know what i can do i can move it up a bit i have all the attachments to do so but if you i wanted to get some of the bike in i want it to be my sort of perspective so you guys can see i'm going to open now and test the mic quality with that Ooh, it gets stuffy inside these helmets so now you might not be able to hear me as well but what i've done i've velcroed the dji mic 2 inside my helmet so the dead car, the fluffy bit that stops all the wind, it sort of sat right next to my mouth. It's not in my mouth, it's comfortable. I can't tell it's there, but I know it's not gonna fall out. So hopefully, well, hopefully it won't fall out anyway, because that wouldn't be very nice. Hopefully everything sounds good, and we'll go from there, right? Let's close this back up. Okay, so like I said, I sent the GoPro Hero 10s back. I ordered a DJI Osmo Action 4, and then I also ordered a Insta360 X3. It's like a 360 degree camera. And I was gonna mount this to one of these stands here on a pole to get some really cool views. Um, the little tiny planet situation that you can get with the X3. However, upon trying that out yesterday, I really didn't like it. Uh, the quality is 5.7K, but obviously that's 5.7K resolution spanning a full 360 image rather than just a 4k being straight on the quality is a lot less of that of the action 4 so i've decided to send that one back also and i've picked up the other osmo action 4 and i'm just going to have one of them mounted to the front of my bike looking at me and one of them mounted on my chin mount uh looking at my perspective of the bikes and i think that's going to be as long as everything sounds good now uh that that will be my setup for the time being pulling away in second gear I don't know why it's so busy around here. That's why, because idiots like that pull out. Absolute joker. Something's telling me I shouldn't have come this way today. Don't go, do not go. I hate filtering on this road. Oh, I am not filtering there, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you, good lad. Good lad, probably shouldn't have done that. So a bit about me, what I want to do with the channel. Well, first and foremost, not riding in the rain, because I really dislike riding in the rain. Uh, the roads here in the town I live, Basildon, are, uh, bad enough as it is without adding the rain in as an obstacle uh, but what i do want to do is i want to travel around first of all essex because i love my history essex is a very historical county and there's loads of places i want to visit so i'll be doing a lot of motor vlogging getting to these places on my bike and then jumping off my bike exploring these places and just having fun i plan to do a lot of that this summer so if you're on board with that you love your history thumbs up the video 
subscribe and uh, let me let me know if you want me to go to anywhere specific I have loads of places on my list so if you've got any more that you'd want me to go and see just let me know what we're gonna do we're gonna do a big loop here and head back home because this is just a test of the sound and video quality also oh, look at that pothole just to test all my quality and everything like that so I don't like riding in the rain I really dislike it actually get around that great because it's very slippy so I'm currently on a 125cc it is a Keyway RKV125 and I have my theory test book in for the 2nd of April which hopefully I pass and then I have not decided yet whether to just go full direct access and get my full bike license or just do the A1 for now because I don't mind riding on a 125 I love this bike I love this bike with a passion I hate having L plates on it but if it's raining like this and my daughter wants to go to school uh, you know what I mean she can just jump on the back Obviously, she'll have all her helmet and her levers and everything like that, and I can get her to school. I can't do that with old plates. So I don't know what to do. It's going to be much cheaper for me to do my A1. Uh, so it's going to be, cost me like £700. £700, sorry. £300 uh, to do my A1. And it's going to cost me about £1,000 to do my direct access. And to be honest with you that's just a lot of money just to pull out like that and um, so I don't know whether to do another year on the A1 and then maybe a year on the A2 and get a, a slightly bigger bike and just gradually work my way up I'm not a child I'm not 17 it's not my first bike I used to ride a lot of Vespers however I hadn't until I got this bike I hadn't been on the road for over 10 years so I'm still just getting used to everything now I consider myself quite a safe rider um, I'm quite vigilant, I know what to look out for uh, and I always treat every car on the road as if it's trying to kill me. So I stay well clear, I keep my distances, I check my mirrors and I do my lifesavers. I don't think I'll have any problems passing the Mod 1 or the Mod 2, whether I go direct access or A1. I just think I'd rather get a bit more experience before I do that. Let me know in the comments what you would do or what you think the best move is. Because even if I do the full direct access, I can't see myself buying a Harley Sportster 883 anytime soon. I'm still probably gonna keep on this 125. So I may as well save that bit of money whilst I can. That's my ideas anyway, and uh, I don't know. It's still up in the air. My son Cade, he is 17 in June, and he's gonna be doing his CBT. So another option is I could buy a bigger bike and then give him this one because this is a very good bike, lovely to ride. It has this little rattle that's a little bit annoying but nothing, nothing too serious. I think it's just a cable underneath the oil tank rattling around and it does get annoying sometimes but annoying I can live with, dangerous I can't. I'll go down Timberlock Lane and back down Basel or shall I go through Whitmore Way? So the reason I don't like riding in the rain is I don't like getting wet. I don't feel any less secure on the bike. <laughs> I know my braking distances are a bit harder, or a bit longer I should say, but it is what it is. I can ride perfectly well in the wet. I feel confident going around roundabouts in the wet. I just really dislike being wet. And today I've come out, it wasn't raining when I've decided to do this. And as soon as I've come out without my waterproofs on today, it started to rain but that is just called the old steady look um, and that's probably a phrase you'll come to know if you do subscribe to this channel the old steady look because if it wasn't for bad luck I would have zero luck at all so yeah as I was saying if you are interested in joining me on my adventures smash that like button smash that subscribe button and if nobody watches that's fine too um, I can look back on these these videos with fond memories saying I done this I done that I went here and I went there and that really is the whole point of me doing the channel I mean I'd love people to join me I'd love people to let me know their journeys and send me you know tell me you're doing motor vlogging as well so I can look at your videos that'd be awesome I'm in the wrong lane should I get another mic as well for engine noise because with the with the mic being in here and it cutting out all the wind noise you're probably not really going to hear the engine that much and for a 125 this sounds nice you know what I mean? I might get a second mic as well. I think that might be a good idea. There's that rattle though in second gear. I only get it in second gear and it's so annoying. It's definitely a cable because it's when it resonates at a certain frequency. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment. Let me know where you want me to visit and I will catch you on the next one. Ciao. Am I in the wrong lane again?